all right guys thank you so much for always keeping up with us for subscribing my name is Walter Manuel we're always here giving out stories concerning Africa and uh, stories about our daily life for today's case uh, we are going to be discussing about a new trend in the world uh, that is the so-called AI many of our friends many of you there don't understand the meaning of this word uh, many of you think it's a new trend but it's just trending of late but AI has been here for almost 50 years ago However, it has just been developing on a, a very slow rate, but of recent year, uh, ever since we came out of COVID-19, that's when we started seeing the effect, the real effects of AI. That is uh, the advantages and the side effects. So for this case, I want to let you know what is exactly, what is AI? Most of us don't, don't understand the meaning of AI. Uh, for example, in Uganda, where I reside from, uh, AI has been training for the last two months because of one of the musicians who came across and plagiarized one of her songs. That is Azawi with a radio's voice. Radio was an artist in Uganda who died a long time ago. But as of now, his voices are coming back. Now, many people started questioning themselves what is exactly, what is the meaning of AI and why is it coming out? So, many of you wanted to know the use, the disadvantages, and how it's going to be affecting Uganda and Africa, maybe even the world. So AI, these are machines which were formulated in the, the early 1957s by Alan Turing uh, in, in opposition with the human nature. This was done to make sure that they try to create something which can compete with the understanding of human behaviors, like artificial intelligence machines trying to do what a human being can do. Are you getting it? So AI has been shown in different things, in very many accessories we are using in our day-to-day -day life that's where we are trying to see the composition of ai so ever since it was introduced by alan it has been developing slowly by slowly they have been in inserting it in different sectors and activities so uh we have that one of the reality machines and then we have that one that one of our reality is called the reality ai which has no memory change it applies the same now for that case we want to know where do we find ai uh, we find ai in our personal assistant for example if you have your smartphone people have smartphones there is an ai app even in your camera the ai is there uh the google assistant that's an ai object there is what you call the alexa <laughs> that is an ai object for example if you go on your google and request for a translation of a language that's already AI. Uh, if you're checking on your social media handles, people who are using Facebook, TikTok, and other all social medias, they have a technology of AI because lots of things that they, they use AI in relocating your places, in looking for uh, trying to get up your contacts in, with your friends, suggesting algorithms. That's all done by AI. People who are in banking sector these days, uh, starting with the, the online banking. Uh, leave alone the other sector of uh, ATM cards, uh, the computers we are using in our finances. That is all a composition of artificial intelligence. Because any calculation done in the bank, it's automatically done. By AI. Actually, AI is becoming more clever than even some human beings, whereby calculating of money is very easy. So that is AI. Shopping. People who are doing online shopping, for example, people who are using uh, Amazon, Alibaba, and very many online stores. The capacity of, uh, of you trying to get what you want from that app is because of the effect of AI. The technology of AI, artificial intelligence, is started on those apps. That is how you can easily get to know what you want. People who are in entertainment, that is music, music, movies. You can generate anyone's voice in this era. You want to create a sound. Even if I want to sing like the late Michael Jackson, I can do it. Even if I want to, to, to do music, uh, for example, the late, all the, the, the late musicians we've been having in this world, you can create anyone's voice at any time as long as you have the AI app or the AI software in your phone. So, the AI is already in our entertainment system. You can do anything concerning music, concerning movies with AI. So, AI is everywhere. People who are in transportation, people who are using Uber, uh, the borders, and other transporting apps, all those apps are used. AI. So, after implying that 
technology of concerning AI, you get to know that you can use all those apps. Now, the question is, is AI good or bad? According to me, AI will be good or is good depending on the angles and corners how you want it to be done. People who are doing technology, uh, people who are using technology much, who are using uh, apps and softwares, uh, of course we shall believe that AI is good on our side because it's trying to soften life for us. And even everyone there, as long as you need it for the good, AI will be good for you. But if you want to use it for for disadvantages and other bad things, it will become disadvantage of this world. As I've been telling you that, you have to be cautioned whenever you're going to use this artificial intelligence technology. The use for it, all your missions and ambitions will determine how important this AI is to your life. However, let's try to look at the disadvantages of AI, most especially in growing countries like Africa. How is AI going to affect us and even in the world? Maybe for our case in Africa, since we are still in uh, the, third world, the third world countries, we may, not be, we may not face the real effect of AI, too much of it, because we are lacking with so many things. But now, think of those ones who have developed those ones in Europe and other continents and how they are, they are, they are going to be facing it. Uh, AI, first and foremost, is going to cause unemployment to the world because now very many people we used to employ very many people in different sectors to do different jobs. For example, to hold people who do cartoons, people who do animations. You only need these days only one app, a software to create uh, a, a cartoon or anim- animation factor. You don't need to have many people to do for the drawings. So on that side, people are going to lose, to lose jobs. You only need one computer in your office to do jobs or duties which can be done by over 10 people, 15 people. So unemployment at its best is going to increase. It's already affecting the world. You see, uh, very many countries people are using machines to operate uh, others. People are using uh, different gadgets to do whatever they need. Someone is having everything on his phone. So you don't need to employ people to do for you what you want. You see these days issues concerning transport. You just need to sit on your phone, look for an app, call someone, just move and go where you want to go. Uh, secondly, there is what you call no ethics. Mm. Since there is, it is, it is an artificial intelligence, automatically a human being is ahead of the machine because a human being is the one who creates the machine. So these AI objects and technology, they don't have uh, ethics of life. Since it's always programmed, for them to just participate in whatever you have just coded and what you have commanded. You know the terms and rules of a computer is all about commanding and coding. So what you command it's what is done so that is it there's no improvement in ai what you program it to do it's what it's going to be doing for example our phones if you're having a simple phone like mine here there is no way it's going to improve on its capacity unless you create another new software version for this or you improve on the software you're using for the gadgets so what you program is what stops on then there's a problem of creativity since AI is taking over everything, people are going to become very lazy. The human beings are going to become very lazy. Of, of recent, we've been we had to sit down, start creating stories, write, create good creativity. But now, you only need to sit and command what you want. Even if you want to donate something to a fiance, you can sit and ask AI. Then AI will tell you what you want to donate to your friends. I think this year we are going to become very weak and lazy. Actually, our understanding capacity as human beings is going to be reduced because everything is going to be done at a fingertip. Everything is going to become easy for us to do. I think it's so life is going to be very easy for people and our creative role is going to reduce. Yeah. Then another thing is going to be the high costs of maintaining this technology and machine. Issues concerning machines and technology, you have to hire enough money for this puzzle. You have to have enough, enough money, enough labor to maintain these machines. Actually, what people shouldn't be worried of, these machines can't operate without the support of a human being. 
anything done, however much you can have a gadget, however perfect it can be, but it has to be commanded by at least one human being behind it. So the cost of maintaining those gadgets at, 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 at an expense of breaking down will be so difficult, will be hard. So disadvantages of AI and the effects to the world, man, we are going to face them rough. But however, what you're gonna do, we shall learn how to survive with it. Uh, we shall just need to create the measures so that we can survive with AI technology. For us in Africa here, since we are still lagging behind, we still, I think we still have more young to work out with AI due to problems of problems of internet. We don't have enough internet in Africa. Uh, the money, we don't have the money. Our economy is still down. Our people having a low trust levels. Many of us cannot even use these gadgets for, for day to day life. So in Africa, AI will be coming slowly. I think so. However, due to our problems and effects, it's going to be affecting us too much. So you just have to position yourself on the better side of the world if you want to survive in the coming era of AI and improved technology. The technology of smart cities and the technology of having everything done on a silver plate. So what you should do, position yourself in a better place and then make sure you always keep studying, keep reading. So people who are having parents who are having children, make sure you keep encouraging your children to be creative. Send them to school, make sure they become educated so that they don't suffer in the coming era of AI. However, that is it. AI is not a new thing. It has been with us for the last 50 to 60 years of the world. But as you know that the world is always growing, growing at a faster rate. So AI is becoming too common to the world and it's exposing everything. So that's a brief story about AI. If you want to know about more about AI, keep spreading the story and keep reading even for yourself. You can go and Google about AI, you got to know much about it. Thank you.